Here's the Cadillac converter part. Looks just like that. It's a Cadillac converter cartridge. It's part of the intake uh, exhaust pipe there. So this is all one piece. And inside there it has the Cadillac, con Cadillac material. Then from there it goes into the exhaust. Uh, it's got a one inch opening. And then uh, from there goes in into this area, uh, goes through the bulkhead there. It's a bit of a baffle and then through the holes in that baffle and then out the end. So muffler's pretty good. It's just the Cadillac converter that restricts flow quite a bit, especially if it starts to plug up. You know, if that plugs up, well, you know, you gotta buy the whole muffler. So, uh, depending on where you are, you may or you may not be able to remove your Cadillac converter, but if you are in an area where you can remove it, uh, if, you take your, uh, if you take your muffler off and you look at it from the back, so there's the cartridge there. So right at the back of the intake, or right at the back of the, the exhaust or the intake into the muffler, that's where you want to cut it. So you got to cut it there, you know, and then it goes right to the very end of the... So there's three uh, bumps there. That's where they squished it to keep, the, keep it in place until they welded it and to keep it tight in there. So right where that indent starts, that's where you give it a cut. That'll be at the end of it. And to get that cartridge out, you got to cut it all the way around. If you have a, a cutting torch, well, if you have a cutting torch, you might make a mess of it. Uh, you can do it with a grinder and then it's easier to weld back in. I went and cut it all the way around, so cut, 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 cut. And then I'm just going to pull the whole cartridge out, flap it back, flap the metal back over and then weld it up. And then uh, I got just the exhaust pipe without the Cadillac converter. So. Uh, if you don't have to do emissions tests every year or you uh, are doing an off-road uh, mod uh, You can cut your Cadillac converter out and uh, prolong the life of your engine and uh, get a little bit extra a little bit extra horsepower out of it, too uh, Whether or not it's measurable. Uh, I don't know Well, it it'll run better anyway So, just like that. Yeah, this one's probably plugged. Uh, the other one came from the white car, which has lower miles on it. This one came from the blue car, which has a lot of miles on it. And it's pretty carboned up. I'm sure it, it's not plugged up all the way, but uh, you never know. Maybe it's not too far from plugging up. Yeah, it was starting to plug up. Actually, yeah, it's pretty close to being plugged up. It's about 50% uh, flowing through there, or less. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty plugged up. About 50% flow through there. Or less, or less. So yeah, this one was pretty much pooched. Very close to being pooched. Whatever pooched means. So, gotta make sure and get that at the right angle again. So I'll just tack that back in there like that. Fold the steel back down. It is two layers, but as long as you bend them down together, uh, you could probably hold it and tack it on the end. And then, uh, and when you weld it back together, uh, both of them will get welded in place. At least, at least so the inside isn't gonna isn't gonna flap loose in there. 
So, yeah. This one didn't get rusted out like the other one, but the Cadillac converter plugged up. Very thin metal, I already tried uh, welding it some. Gotta turn down the amps and crank up the speed. It's like welding a pop can almost. Keep those two halves together. The thing you could do is just uh, squeeze them together and then tack the side. Just like that. That will ensure they're getting welded at, welded at the same time. is get this welded in about the same spot as it was before. I'm going to put it in the car, it lines up where it should. Very thin metal. Gotta turn the amps all the way down. Uh, turn the speed all the way up. Uh, best is just tack it and then uh, wait for it to cool. Come back, tack it again, wait for it to cool, come back, tack it again, and then uh, do a, a low amp pass and uh, finish welding it all together. So I'll get a little chunk of steel and put it over top of there and then weld all that in. But uh, you get the general idea. So, 
There's the muffler without the Cadillac converter in it. That should uh, help it run a lot better. <laughs> 